um, I am Mrs. Mabushe. Unfortunately, I cannot, I couldn't sit with my husband next to me because of um, his condition now. But uh, nevertheless, uh, he allowed me to come and talk about the experiences that we had, mm. uh, the life journey he had on this sickness, cancer. Mm. Uh, he has been diagnosed with cancer uh, since 2023. Uh, from the beginning, my husband will complain of um, uh, when he goes to pee, mm. the pee will delay, mm. and uh, the pill will not. The pee will not have um, pressure. Mm. And then sometimes when he pees, he will say, "I feel like I, I still want to mm, to go some to more. go uh, some, some more." Mm. Yeah. Mm. So uh, when it started like that, we went to the GPs, the general practitioners. Mm. And then they referred us to the oncology. But before we could go to the oncology, one, one day he wanted to, to pee and he couldn't completely. At all. At all. And it was like um, was saving a terrible pain. Mm. So I had to take him to Dr. Mavonda, GP. Mm. And then he went to, through the scan. He found that the, the, the um, kidney, um, it's, 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 um, it's full of urine, but it could not pass. Mm. Then he immediately told us that this could be prostate cancer. So they took blood. Mm. They, it took a week to find out the result. And indeed, it confirmed, the blood confirmed that he was uh, suffering from um, prostate cancer. By that time, the readings of pH, they call it pH. Mm -hmm. Um, the pH was very was very low, forty seven. But they they said it is it was high, because they say the pH of a of a man must be zero comma four, mm. and by that time it was forty seven. We went to Polokwane. We had to stay there for three weeks. Mm. Every day I was taking him to to the radiation room, so that they can burn the, the place where mm. it is affected. Usually they burn, they burn it at the, at the pelvic kettle. Mm. Yeah, for 15 days. And then we came back. Greetings and welcome to Palavra Podcast Corner. My name is Nyeko Mavasa. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you to all our subscribers. We can see that you are coming to our family. We welcome you. Cancer um, Evela. October happens to be International Cancer Awareness Month. And as Palavra Podcast Corner, we thought it's important uh, to go into this type of a monster to talk about it so that people out there are aware of what is happening. Because one way or another, we are all affected by this monster. And it's important that we make people aware of it. We try and go an extra mile to find people that are affected by it or people that have knowledge related to cancer. It doesn't matter what type of cancer it is. We try and find people that can assist us to, you know, Koreisa with TV na information. And try and find someone who is going through this monster. And as a result, we saw it fit to sit with one person that is mostly affected. It would have been great to sit to the patient. And also, we think it's also important, Guru. It's Hamana Lababata Magna Vogutogu. What is happening? How is this thing affecting people? And what should we look out for? Thank you so much. Good people, please help me welcome my mother uh, who will help us and give us so much knowledge uh, in this area. We're going to talk about a lot of things, including cancer and what they do. Please help, help me welcome uh, Mrs. 
and Pastor Man Mabushi. Welcome to Palo Reporters, Kanamami. <laughs> Thank you for hosting me today. Hello. Mm. <laughs> in actual fact, you're hosting us. <laughs> Thank you for welcoming <laughs> us in your beautiful home. Hello. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> yes. Um, I'd love all the meeting to come and sit with us and talk about um, cancer mm. uh, and everything that is around it. We understand uh, it can be thought provoking and uh, a bit uncomfortable to talk about. We really, really appreciate it. And I know that people that are watching, Lebona, they appreciate it. Thank you so much. Relevora. Relevora, Rene. So, um, well, nah, Mama Bushe, we've always known you of being a great preacher of gospel and also a, a, a teacher yes. <laughs> by profession. <laughs> <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about Familiar Mabushe. What are you all about? And who is the Mabushes? Uh, good uh, evening. Because it is uh, evening right now. Yes. Good evening, viewers. Good evening, everyone who can be able to hear me. Um, I am Mrs. Mabushe. Unfortunately, I cannot. I couldn't sit with my husband next to me because of um, his condition now. But uh, nevertheless, uh, he allowed me to come and talk about the experiences that we had. Mm. Uh, the life journey he had on this sickness, cancer. Mm. Uh, he has been diagnosed with cancer uh, since 2023. Mm. And as a family, as a, a family of believers and preachers of the word of God, we know nothing is impossible with God. Mm. But God at the same time created also doctors so that they can help us and um, help us in the journey of um, helping us to make sure that uh, we become aware and we also treat uh, through their help, they can help us. Mm. So I am a mother of four kids, two boys, two girls. And um, uh, my husband um, and I have been uh, teachers for many years. He taught um, 30 years in Labatu. I taught 20 years at Mavine Primary School. Then I decided to um, resign for the sake of the gospel uh, to start the Christian school, which is Bethsaida Christian Academy, where every learner, one at a time, is able to uh, pray and even uh, read the word of God. Mm. Um, this came because of our vision of uh, the glory of the Lord, His grace less sent Titus got a lot of ministries inside. And then through the help of my children and my husband, we were able to walk this journey together. They are helping us at church. Uh, usually sometimes I will tell even people that if you, the church, if you go away, I will preach, my son will play keyboard, another one will do praise and worship, the pastor will preach. So we are a family of uh, uh, taking the, the word of God very seriously because without God, we are nothing. Mm. Uh, that is in short. Wow, mm -hmm. this is amazing. Um, and and you are also known of being a musical family. Yes. Um, your family is very musical. In a, a couple of ep episodes back, I had an interview with both uh, uh, Innocent and, and, and Pascaline mm -hmm. in this show, and our people love them. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a beautiful episode with them. But today is not about them. I'm more interested in talking to you about you and, and, and you know, uh, Mr. Mabushe and the mm -hmm. Jane. How long have you been married to, to, to your husband? Um, now it is 41 years. Wow. Mm. By the grace of God. Wow. 41. Yes. That's a milestone. Yes. Milestone. There is no perfect husband. There is no perfect wife. Mm. But the two, when you come together and um, love each other and agree, 
to walk a journey of marriage mm. through the help of the Lord mm. because we commit everything in the Lord. Mm. Even now, mm. even the monster that we are with now mm. is nothing compared to the promises of God that wow. the Lord has promised us. We are hanging on the knowing that all is well. For better, for worse. Yes. Wow. For better, for worse. This is encouraging. Mm. Uh, it's encouraging. Wow. I just want us to go straight to the business uh, or the, the heading of of um, the October month, which is Cancer Awareness. Mm. Uh, we want to talk about it, uh, even though it's uncomfortable. But one way or another, the society, we are all affected by this. Mm. Uh, if it's not a family member, it's a friend or someone in the society who is prominent is affected by this thing so it's important that we know about it also just so that you can give us an experience how it started to live on until you took a step or to just find out what is happening and to, to where we are today take us okay. through the beginning the very very first time uh, how did it start um uh, from the beginning, my husband will complain of um, uh, when he goes to pee, mm. the pee will delay, mm. and uh, the pill will not. The pee will not have um, pressure, mm. and then sometimes when he pees, he will say, "I feel like I, I still want to mm, to go some to more. go uh, some some more." Mm. Yeah, mm. so. Uh, when it started like that, we went to the GPs, the general practitioners, mm. and then they referred us to the oncology. But before we could go to the oncology, one one day he wanted to to pee and he couldn't completely at all at all, and it was like um, was saving a terrible pain. Mm. So I had to take him to Doctor Mavonda GP. Mm. And then he went to through the scan. He found that the the, the um, kidney um, is 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 um, is full of urine, but it could not pass. Mm. Then he immediately told us that this could be prostate cancer. So they took blood. Mm. They it took a week to find out the result, and indeed it confirmed the blood confirmed that he was uh, suffering from. Um, prostate cancer. By that time, the readings of pH, they call it pH. Mm -hmm. um, the pH was very was very low, 47, but they, they said it is it was high. Because they say the pH of a, of a man must be 0, 0,4. Mm. And by that time, it was 47. Okay. And then they, they scared us, actually. They said, this is too much. This is very high. Mm. You must uh, find the oncologist. So when we went to the hospital, uh, they said the oncologists are only in Bulukwan. Mm. And then the oncologists also needed um, a lot of money. Mm. Uh, you must have a medical aid. If you don't have a medical aid, you will, wait, you will be on the waiting period, a long waiting period to be... Mm, uh, to be assisted. Mm. So we tried some other ways to dive and go to Pascaline's place in Pretoria mm. to go to the other hospitals mm -hmm. so that we may get mm. uh, 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 help. Mm. And then when we went there, hey, um, it was a, a disappointing time that because we went there and we came back, we went there three times and it couldn't happen. Mm. The last time they promised to go and do the biopsy because after you get it, mm. there are steps to be followed. You must mm. take the biopsy. Remember, they said it is too high and it is not, um, it is moving in the body. Mm. It is like a mushroom. Mm. It spread in the body. So uh, as we went to Bulukwan, we wanted to do the biopsy to so that they can be able to see how far it is and when can they start to do the medication? Mm. So um, we went there three times. It didn't happen. And months were, were mm. going because it started January, June. We went to June. They said they will give us the date to Bolokwani. Mm. 
um, provincial hospital. Then January, February, March, we're trying in Pretoria. And we this is when? 2000? 2003. January. 2003. Uh, last year. 20, this 20, is 2023. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, 2023, okay, yes. Okay. 2023. Mm. It started 2023. Mm. And this is the second year. Okay. So we tried to go to the private hospitals to do the biopsy in in the living room, in the uh, doctor's uh, practitioner, mm. or practitioner room. Mm. So there uh, you tried to do it and you couldn't do it. Mm. And it was very, very painful to do it because they do it without killing your body. Yeah. And then that night, it was the worst. When I went home, I just said, Lord, make a way. Mm. We prayed about it to speed up. And then uh, we came back. Then June the 14th, that they gave us at Maputa to go to provincial in Polokwane. Mm. We managed to go there. By the grace of God, the doctor that we found there did it, and he did it very well. It wasn't like before. Mm. And um, I was afraid that he will feel more pain than mm. the first time because I saw mm. the doctor doing it how they did. Mm. But this time I didn't get into the room. Okay. They did it. The doctor did it with my husband. So they didn't Alone. allow you or you just chose not I, to? I chose not okay. to because of the first experience. Oh, okay. I didn't I want to. Mm. Yes. Then we came back and then... Uh, by that time, January, February, March, I decided to take a medical aid mm. because the doctors, all of them were saying, you must have a medical, medical aid to treat this sickness needs medical aid mm. because it's very expensive. And indeed, I took the medical aid. The medical aid um, was approved um, uh, in September. We had to wait to have a waiting period of six months. Mm. And then, and by that time, it was moving mm. from the from the genital part to the pelvic, mm. from the pelvic bones to, mm. to the rest of the body. And now it has affected even the, the bones. Mm. It's always weak. It's always on bed. It cannot walk up to this time. Mm. Um, we just assist him with um, going to the bathroom and mm. bathing him. Uh, but um, uh, this time, at least he can be able to, 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 uh, to, you can see that he's not in pain like before. But the last so year, improvement. there is improvement, though the improvement of walking is mm. not there, but okay. there is improvement on the body. Mm. And then from September is then that, they started to take him seriously because they knew there is medical aid and they can, the medical aid can be able to pay those bills. Mm. And um, uh, from 2023 until uh, we went, until September when the medical aid was um, approved, he was on catheter. He could not pee on himself okay. or, or, or on, on his own. Mm. He has to have mm. that such a and then, which was um, very heavy to, to, sometimes you will forget to close, mm. sometimes just it was a difficult situation. Mm, can and imagine. they needed someone to help him. So if he wakes up, I wake up. That's mm. um, how I was affected. From 2023, I didn't have a good night's sleep because I had to watch every move that he's making so that everything is in order. So uh, now we are in, in, in it, it's from January. Now we are in 2024. We are in October, almost two years. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you went to, there is a doctor, oncology, who's dealing with um, a prostate cancers. And prostate cancer, imagine, is only for men. It's, mm. it's mainly for men, but even in women, some are affected. Oh, is even, it? even women, yes. Okay. So the doctor that uh, we, 
we first visited after the biopsy, uh, just said, I want to help this man of God. He cannot carry the bag every time, mm. when he, wherever he goes. Because by that time, I was still moving, mm. still active and walking. So he operated him. He was operated at um, Medi Clinic Zanin by Dr. October. And then the operation went very, very successful. And uh, uh, I was very happy because he was um, in his old, he is in his old age. And sometimes when people, the old people go for operation, they don't wake up because of this and that, the heartbeat, the high blood pressures, the sugar diabetes. Um, but with him, by God's grace, he woke up. Though you could not walk, we had to carry him back home. Then he started walking as we were taking care of him. People like him, uh, whenever a patient, a man, and on his old age is affected by prostate cancer, he needs love and care by the wife and the kids. Mm. He needs people around him to love him and to cherish him. Um, so that he may be strong mm. because he may give up. Uh, he may be, he may give up and uh, feel that he is not worth it. Mm. Uh, but up to this time, we are still with him. We are still taking care of him. And then after the operation, then he had to go for radiation mm. for three weeks in, on, uh, at the oncology doctor. We went to Polokwane. We had to stay there for three weeks. Mm. Every day I was taking him to, to the radiation room so that they can burn the, the place where mm. it is affected. Usually they burn, they burn it at the, at the pelvic kettle. Mm. Yeah, for 15 days. And then we came back. Um, before they can do the radiation, they will tell you that... Um, uh, there are a lot of um, after effects, diarrhea, vomiting, pains every day. But with him, mm. by the grace of God, he didn't experience wow. anything of them. Wow. Only on the last two days that he okay. started having a, a small mm. diarrhea, but we're about to come back. Mm. And then thereafter, after a month after the radiation, um, he was um, now uh, feeling pain every time, every pain every time, and then he had to we, we had to pray and also give him the painkillers. Uh, they to told us that that those painkillers are the pain management. <laughs> So, uh -huh. but when we pray, we ask the Lord that we don't need this pain management. We need complete healing. healing yes. Yeah, because of uh, our faith, we are not uh, discouraged. Mm. Uh, we are every day. We are becoming strong, and we become happy despite of the condition. Mm. Mm. Because um, Jesus says, "Cast all your burdens unto me," and then. When we read uh, John 14, 14, it says, ask whatever you want and I will do it for you. Mm. So we believe that uh, God is busy doing his work. Uh, his delay is not his denial. Mm. And we are busy with him every step of the way. Sometimes he may, uh, a person who's um, affected by this um, prostate cancer, when it is uh, advanced, because now it is at stage four, it was at stage one when they discovered. Mm. But because of the resources, because mm. of the delay of the biopsy uh, from the, the hospital, from the oncology, um, now it advanced to stage four. But they, 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 they promised that um, even at stage four, they can be able to help. Mm. And uh, we see... Uh, the hand of God every day, though the strength is not there. But uh, facially, if you look at him, you will think he, will, he can just stand up and walk. Mm. But he can't walk right now. Mm. So that is uh, the journey that we had. We are still, every three months, we are still visiting the oncology 
to give him an injection. They give him injection on the stomach and then the pill that you give him during the night. But when we went for our last um, checkup, they found that the injection and the, the pill is like it is working very slow mm. and they, it doesn't work very well. So they are um, deciding to give him a chemo, okay. which is a drip every mm. maybe every, every month. Mm. But then when we went there, they found that he was weak. You couldn't walk. They can't give him the chemo because the chemo has got the after effects of making you becoming dizzy. Mm. And uh, so we are hoping that he will recover, you will eat and he will stand up. And then as prayerfully as we are doing that, because we are not neglecting God, we are doing, we are praying and at the same time trusting that God can use the doctors to help us. Mm. And when I Google, because after this, I had to find out the information. Yes. He found the information late that um, every man ha has to be tested when he's 40 years. Yes. And if you have not tested, please, mm. Mm. both of you go and test. <laughs> yes. You test every year mm. when you are 40 mm. going and upwards. Above, yes. Women are suffering from breast cancer and cervix cancer. Mm. Men are suffering from prostate, prostate. cancer. Mm. So uh, he didn't, um, the, the, the PGs, when we were visiting them, they did not highlight us immediately that this is, is leading to prostate. Mm. Please go for mm. oncologists. Mm. We didn't know that they are oncologists. We mm. knew them when we, we were in that mm. uh, situation, when he was in the mm. situation. So now... Uh, believe me, every man must go and um, go and test and also go to the oncology once in a year. Mm. Not the general practitioners, mm. doctors, but oncology is the one who can detect mm. and even do the uh, proper tests mm. of um, this um, prostate cancer. Mm. Mm. So we are busy with the treatment. And we believe that um, by the grace of God, and uh, if God wants him to live and to come and be a living testimony and even to open the eyes of others, mm. he will run with it and uh, have men's talk. Mm. Men don't talk when they are sick. Mm, they, are, they, they don't even want to consult doctors. Mm. They consult doctors when they are um, the situation is worse. Mm. But with my husband, it was different. Mm. He was consulting only that we didn't know. We had to, he has to go for a test mm. okay. once in a year. We didn't mm. know about it because uh, it took us by surprise because now, uh, since I've been with my husband for these 41 years, he has never been admitted to hospital. Wow. He was admitted only last year, 2023, because mm. of this. Mm. And because he's growing up, uh, he's, um, this year he will be 70, he's 74. Next year he will be 75. 25. Wow. So already mm. uh, God has blessed him of with course. 70 years, according to the Bible. Mm. That five years after mm. 70 mm. is a, a bestseller. Wow. So <laughs> Mama Bushe. Mm. Wow, this is uh, the way you're explaining it. Clearly, you've been there with him step by step because mm -hmm. you seem to be knowing and understanding every step that he had to go through. Mm -hmm. What are the sacrifices that you personally, as the wife, had to sacrifice? What are some of the things that you had to put aside in order to focus on his well being? Um, the time of enjoyment, we were, people were traveling. Mm. Um, traveling, we've been in Dubai, we've been in, in Mauritius. I've set those things aside mm. because I had to take care of him every day. Mm. And when he recovers, I believe that those times will always be there. Of course. Mm. You can always go back. <laughs> Mm. and return back to your plans. Yes. Wow, this is amazing and, and also in, in encouraging mm. to um to women also of today 
as wives mm. that really can need when we commit and make an oath in front of people that for mm. better for worse, mm. these are some of the things that you might have to mm. come across. Mm. Mm. What do you, what do you want to say to the young women of today that wants to get married uh, and those that are married and maybe looking up to you? I, I don't know if they make time to sit down with people like you and want to draw information. Just a little bit in briefly, what, what can you say about the newlyweds, uh, about marriage today? as compared to what you went through uh, when you got married 41 years ago? Um, what I can say to them is that um, marriage, as I said in the beginning, is a commitment. It's like a university mm. where you have to learn each other. You have to complement one another. You have to communicate, you have to love each other, and we have to cherish each other for better mm. and even for worse. Mm. So when someone is sick, if it is a husband, mm. the wife must love and must support. Mm. And if it is a, a, a wife, the husband must do the same mm. because we need each other. It's not that when we are married, we will always... It will be a time of healthy moments only or uh, mm. happy moments only. Even uh, times of tough times, time of death, time of sickness, we must always be there for one another. Mm. And um, and uh, devote yourself. Actually, love is something that conquers everything because mm. love never fails. Mm. Even if now my when I look at my husband who's helpless on the bed, I mm. still love him. Mm. And I always tell him, I love you. Mm. And uh, if I go out for to buy something, shopping or whatever, mm. I'll tell him that never even worry. The man in my heart is you. Mm. I reassure him. <laughs> uh -huh. So mostly some of the new weddings, when the wife is sick, the husband will go out. Mm. When the the husband is sick, is sick the, the wife will go out. So mm. which is not what it should be. Mm. Marriage is something special and it has to be honored by both wow. husband and wife. Wow. Mm. Well, I know. You've said it very well. <laughs> mm. I, I need interpretation. This mm. is beautiful. I'm, I'm, I am happy you're still seeing the same husband the same way you saw him 41 mm -hmm. years ago. Even today, you still smile when you talk about him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, Mam Mamrud, mm -hmm. tell me about how, how was it the very first time when you are told your husband is diagnosed of, of prostate cancer? How did you take it? How was it when you're coming back home the very first day and you need to tell the, the, your children that, hey, your dad is, is, is diagnosed by... Um, what? How was it? Maybe um, walk us through the ideas. Um, yes, the feeling that uh, pro uh, prostate cancer, this weight cancer, mm -hmm. uh, if I was a person without the Lord, mm. to, I, I would be devastated. Mm. But inside me, when I was still in that room, when they were showing us even on TV that this is the stage where it went, mm. we just said, um, nothing is impossible with God inside us. Mm. Though the doctor was saying, we are going to run together in this journey, we will help you. So uh, let us help one another. Um, I When we, we moved out of the room, when we were coming back home, because I was the one driving him every now and then, except when, when I felt that I, I'm tired, I would ask uh, our second son, Innocent, mm to help us, mm. even um, all the sons, even mothers would drive us sometimes. Mm. Uh, when we were coming back home, we will be talking like, um, it's, it's like any other sickness. Mm. The name, just like when the time when AIDS came, mm. when AIDS was I I introduced, people were killed by the name mm. AIDS, mm. but not the sickness. Mm. Okay. So even with okay. us, we took it like it is a cough. It mm. is like a, a, a sugar diabetes. It's mm. like a high blood pressure. People are busy eating pills because of mm. sicknesses, mm. because of the flesh. But inside us, there is a... I usually tell the kids that you see your, your father is lying on the bed, but inside him there is the Lion of Judah. Mm. There is 
the lion is roaring inside yeah. him. It's the one who's keeping him. Mm. So we just accepted and said, uh, God, if you want him to go through this journey, mm. then let it be and we will be the witnesses. Mm. And if you want to heal him now mm. and um, give him miraculous healing, let it be. Yes. So whatever we are experiencing right now, mm. And whatever we have been experiencing since we have been told this, mm. we put it in the hands of God. We just say, God, you are the one who knows us. Mm. You are the one who made him. And uh, you are the one who will really make sure that uh, uh, he pulls through this. Wow. That mm. is amazing. Mm. And it, uh, a, a great support system mm. will also contribute in the healing journey of someone yes. who's sick. Mm. So if the family is also playing a role, we are happy to hear that. Mm. And in Lorena, um, as Palavra Podcast Corner, we really, really, we are praying for healing. Mm. We'd really love to sit with him when, mm. when, uh, mm. and then he, we, we, we talk to him from the horse's mouth. Yes. And talk about the journey, mm. how things have been uh, from Matomo and to where he'll be at that time. It would be great to sit down with him. Mm. And you know, I know because he's a man, he'll be able to throw in punch mm. that will really hit hard to fellow men. Because mm. can't but but not buy especially. I check up. I check up. So I can see that you're also get, getting a great support system from your children. Yes, definitely. They're always here. Mm. We pray for him every before we, they go to sleep. They will come and we pray. On Sundays we eat together. Mm. Uh, we leave him here. We go to church when he come back. We sit down with him. We pray with him. Mm. Though I'm the the pillar, mm. the one who prays of more course. for mm. him because every morning mm. during the night mm. in them, I I wake up and I pray for him. Mm. Mm. Where do you draw your strength? Because I understand this is not an easy journey. Mm. You personally, on your own, where do you draw your strength? I draw the strength from the one who made me, <laughs> the Lord, the word of God. Mm. If you are really born again mm. and the word of God, you read the word of God and pray, the word of God mm. is power. Mm -hmm. The word of God is life. Yes. Uh, because there is um, a scripture that says the word of God is sharper than any, it is active in our life, mm. sharper than any double-edged sword. Mm. So I draw the strength from the word of God mm. because the word of God is life and power. Power. Mm. Without is... the word of God, we are nothing. Mm. Mm. Okay. This is amazing. Mm. Now, now that he's, he's, he's sick, and not able to, you know, just get anywhere. What about how how did it affect your your job or your work? Do you still go to work? And yeah, that is a very good question. Um, the 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 to the way he has been affected now. It started only last week that he could not walk. Mm. From time to time, he could walk could walk and exercise in the house. Mm. Um, I I go to work, but before I go to work, I wake up five o'clock, I make sure that I prepare breakfast for him because there is no one who can prepare breakfast like the way I, I know what he wants. Of course, <laughs> of course. So I prepare breakfast for him. I, yes, seven o'clock I give him, before seven o'clock I give him uh, breakfast and medication. Mm -hmm. Then I go to work. Okay. And then I'm able to stand with the kids, pray powerfully with them, preach to them mm -hmm. at the prayer line every morning. Mm -hmm. And then nine or, half past nine is break time. Then I come back home because I'm working very, very, very near. The place where I'm working, I can drive only three minutes. Okay. So uh, seven o'clock I leave him and half past nine I give him um, I come back, I give him some snack and uh, water. Mm. Uh, Eleven o'clock I come again, twelve o'clock uh, short break, I come again, then mm. to half past two, then I'm back home. 
But I don't leave him alone. I okay. leave him with someone. I help. Okay. I help. No, no, great. But I, I like the fact that though he's left with someone, you still want to do most of the things on your yes. own. Yes. <laughs> Guru Yes. <laughs> and also, I think that is also good. It makes him feel that he's still special in your life. Yes. Because he can mm. see the efforts. Yeah. Yes. I, I believe he can see the efforts. You see them. It's, it's very encouraging. Mm. Uh, Mama Bushi, it's, it's been, it's beautiful talking to you. Mm. If it was up to me, I was going to sit here and talk to you. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> until the AMs. But mm. for mm. to sit mm. with us mm. and, and talk to the world. Mm. Because you're not only talking to me, but you are sharing your story with the rest of the world. Yes. And we are we, we are people that are watching us from out of the country and everywhere else. We really appreciate it. This mm. is a very important story mm. and it will uh, make a difference in someone's life. Yes. I'm also glad you mentioned that uh, men should go and get tested. Test, get tested. Even if it's uncomfortable, it's important, gentlemen, mm. you must go and find out mm. and not wait mm. until it's late. And yes. Humano, you, you are waiting until more uh, than a choice. Mm. We shall mm. be able to get a choice. Again, uh, it. Mm. Which too is late. very bad. Yeah. So let's, let's, mm. let's go out there and find out uh, and, and try and find out what is happening. Um, or discard the Arabic problem when it's mm. not too late because mm. this affects our loved ones mm -hmm. and our families. Mm. Before I close, uh, let's talk about uh, your school. Uh, what are you offering and how can people get a hold of you for registrations to enroll their uh, children? Yeah. Uh, we are beside the Christian Academy at SCORE. Uh, next to old Manzini surgery, there is a, a building there, blue and white, and a um, face brick wall. We are also building a high school opposite it. So now we are offering grade R up to grade 9. We are offering um, all the, the curriculum that the government is giving. But we have added with the word of God and prayer. Mm. And then we have found the kids um, are encouraged to cram some of the important uh, memory verses like oh, Psalm 121, uh, Psalm 23, mm. uh, Psalm 1. Uh, they 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 memorize it, mm. whereas we reinforce in explaining to them. Mm. Just like uh, I can give an example of someone mm. that says, "Blessed is the man that does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, mm. nor stand in the way of sinners." They know when they go home, they must not go to the shops and stand there and mm. hang up with uh, uh, people who are. Mm. Uh, just sit at there at the shops because mm. many things can happen there. Uh, they know they must, um, uh, if they, they, they don't stand at the way of sinners or sit at the seat of mockers, mm. uh, they will be like a tree planted by the streams of water, which leaves does not wither, which mm. yields its fruit in season, and whatever mm. they will do, they will prosper. Wow. So we are... Um, giving them education, um, and that we are performing every year. Every year we, re, we, re, we, 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 we are, our results are above 80%, which wow. is very, very good, which wow. is actually excellent. Mm. So we are having even extra lessons that we give those who are struggling, those who are um, uh, catching slow, Mm. Because nowadays we don't say we have got slow learners. We say we have got learners with challenges mm. so that they become comfortable mm. uh, with that. So uh, we are offering and, um, subjects that will build them even when they leave our school, when they go to university. Mm. They will become, we are producing or we are uh, teaching our children in totality. Mm. spiritually, physically, socially, and education-wise. Mm. So 
Uh, I've got uh, hard-working staff that they devote themselves. That's why we are performing. Mm -hmm. And then we believe that as we are busy with the registration of the high school, uh, our first metric will be 100%. Guaranteed. And with bachelors, mm. with distinctions. Yes. Yes. I believe so too. <laughs> <laughs> mm. primary. <laughs> Thank you mm. so much, Mama Gushe. Please send our regards to uh, Maruti Mabushe. Uh, tell him we love him and we are mm. praying for him. We wish him speedy recovery. Mm. We really want to sit with him and mm. talk to him. Uh, mm. We want to be the first people to sit with him. And you will be the first people to be told yes. that uh, yeah. come and cover the testimony yes, from course. the horse's mouth. Yes, we would really want to celebrate <laughs> with him. It's very yeah. important. Mm. Also to welcome us in your beautiful home. God bless mm. you. The awareness that I've given, I think, I hope someone will be listening Maybe there will be others who will be in my boots. They will know that they are not alone yes. and that it is just a sickness, just mm. like others. And if we involve God in everything that we do, God will help us. I believe that we are awaiting for the testimony. Mabushe, my husband, the one I love, the one I cherish in, in, in good and in health and in sickness, he will be held and it will come and give testimony. Thank you. Thank so you much. very much. Hello. Thank you so mm. much. My people, thank you so much for watching for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and, and subscribe. Also, you can also share to your loved ones there. This is very important information. You cannot watch it alone. Please tell your friends to tell their friends about Palabro Podcast Con. Let's meet again on our next episode. Thank you very much. Tango.